As one of the first women to break into the male-dominated art scene, Georgia O'Keeffe's contributions to 20th century art history are unquestionable. She mesmerized viewers with her gorgeously surreal New Mexico landscapes and stark New York cityscapes, but somehow her name has become synonymous with flowers, painted large and up close. Her goal was to magnify the intimate details of the flower so that viewers would appreciate the great beauty, form, and color in a way that might otherwise have been missed. Very similar to macro photography in the way the smallest details are brought to the forefront, O'Keeffe's paintings looked closely at various flowers and sometimes filled an entire canvas with a single bloom. She also painted weather-worn bones close up and much larger than life. Georgia said, if you take a flower in your hand and really look at it, it's your world for a moment. For this project, we'll adapt O'Keeffe's method of enlarging minute detail to the wing of a butterfly. To prepare, not only look at the flower paintings done by O'Keeffe, but also find close-up photography of butterfly wings, or even view actual butterfly wings with a magnifying glass. Find a part of a wing that would make a beautiful composition if it was blown up. We'll begin by loosely sketching or imagining the design of a blown up butterfly wing that will fill the paper. This is plaque paper. The word comes from plastic-like. It's a beautiful, smooth, strong paper. I'm using a quarter sheet for this composition. So I'm going to start by brushing a, this is a pearlescent mixing medium. And I'm using a large brush. I'm just going to brush it all the way across and cover my sheet of plaque paper. On its own, this reminds me of a butterfly wing. It's very shimmery and pearly. So next, I will take a color shaper. And these come with different tips. Um, I prefer this chisel edge tip because it's a little bit thicker. And so what we're going to do is pull off some of this ground. And what I'm thinking as I'm doing this is I'm exposing veining in a butterfly wing. So this is just a small section of one wing of a butterfly. And I'm going to pull off any of the areas that I want left dark. You see I've got a paper towel here and I'm just cleaning the, the color shaper after each movement. So once you have all of those dark areas pulled off, I'm going to set this aside and let that dry completely. Now this one is a real close up of a section of a butterfly wing. It's completely dry and these are just mimicking the scales of a butterfly's wing. So to start to recreate the variation in color, we'll add pastels right on top of this pearlescent mixing medium. So I'm going to just start going in with color. I am still going to avoid those dark areas because I really want the contrast there. So my pastel is going to go right on top of this pearlescent ground. And it's great as a pastel ground because it grabs a hold of that pastel very nicely. And then once you're done with the pastel part of it and you've got all that on, all that color on that you want, another fun option is to start adding some of these various grounds that I have in front of me. I have a white, an opaque white flake. I have a, this is a large mica, which ends up looking like these gold flecks. I've got a coarse pearl, a small mica. They don't, you know, as you add them, you have to kind of put them on a little bit thickly. And I would not put them on top of the pastel because it's just kind of doesn't stick as well as it would to this pearlescent ground. But when this area dries, it doesn't look real exciting right now, but when it dries, it's going to look beautiful because that clear medium will dry completely and then you'll see all the gold flake or the, or the uh, pearl. So that's the gold. This is a coarse pearl medium that I really like um, because it's really nice and thick. And with this one, you can even create texture like scaling. You can go over that with your brush and just really get some nice textures in there. 
To me, that looks like the scales of a butterfly's wing. Once you're completely done with all the fun part, adding the color and all of the mediums, you might want to spray the pastels with some fixative. I hope you'll explore the wing of a butterfly in minute detail, then share what you've discovered by creating a beautiful pastel drawing that calls attention to what we normally don't see. For a list of all the materials I've used here and a PDF of this project, please visit dickblick.com and search for Blow Up a Butterfly.